All right, guys. I was going to leave it after this segment I did. We did a whole boogie day, which was a very regrettable action. But, hey, that's life. Um, <laughs> anyway, as I was doing it, people kept popping in asking about the fresh and fit. I've been preaching. And I was like, oh, I covered it yesterday. I'm going to post it after I get off. Turns out there's more. So, I mean, hey, listen, I should be thankful. I mean, this is my job is to watch nine-minute videos and expand them to 30 or 40 minutes. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to talk about this one. And, uh, yeah, yeah, there's, yeah, we got it. Yeah, we're good. Let's do it. I didn't realize that when Fresh and Fit put out that live stream and said they were going to nuke our channel, they just ended up nuking their own. I don't know why Myron did this, but he decided to go on Sneeko's live stream on Rumble. Let's see if, let's see if Pearl's still, you have to wear that too. Why is it low? Of course. How am I going to break this down if I'm not in my proper attire as a race? Bro. All right, oh. <laughs> this is how they decided to, uh... <laughs> Okay, incredible stuff. How am I gonna break now? How am I gonna be a racist, bro? That video was really bad. John Zerka was horrible. They were enabling this guy. I don't know why I put this in the queue. Um, they were enabling that guy to see horrible, like incredibly racist stuff. Like f he exposed himself really bad. You'll have to watch that video when it's released first. But it's really bad. They perpetuated tons of stereotypes, just tons of just active racism. It's pretty rough. Okay, moving on. Fucking change. You see out of that? You fucking sand neck. But it's okay. White. Incredible stuff. This is sand neck. Shut up. You're a bro, you're the worst of the worst. You eat dogs and you kill people as a black guy. Okay. Yeah, true. <laughs> no, 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 no. This nigga right here is funny. He's funny, this nigga. Yeah, I don't condone this N-word. Oh. Shut up, you Albanian f <laughs> Keep running the clip, you train. Okay. No, keep running the clip. Okay. Who's that weird nigga that can't speak? Who's that? He black as hell. Right, let's keep going. Why is this funny? I don't get it. Like, I enjoy, like, a, a casual, like, a little bit of an edgy joke, but why is this, uh, why is this funny? Like, what is, what's the, what's the, what am I missing here? The, okay. What the fuck is going on? What entire nation fucking pussy shit is that? I know that reason. Not respect to minorities. What the fuck? Stop! What, what? I want to get another run. I guess Preach wasn't here for this one. There right now. He punched there probably swinging around eating some bananas. Fucking stupid bitch. Preach is crying right now swinging from a monkey ranch. Bro. Eating a banana. Playing some Donkey Kong on an N64 because he's a stupid prick. He's a window licking stupid nigga. What? What? Hey. Oh, oh, that, that spin. I like that. <laughs> what, what is, what is, what do I even, what do I even say to this? This is ridiculous. <laughs> Um, like, why have this reaction? Like, he was being racist. This John Zerka guy mentioned the warrior gene and black people while he was talking about ABBA, and they laughed at it. The warrior gene is like this stereotypical gene that's supposed to, uh, that that it means that you are more aggressive. That's the stereotype. That's the white supremacist talking point. And they say black people have the warrior gene to try to make them to make it seem like they're really aggressive people. And even though, let's be honest, I feel like you know, as a, as a, as a, a distinguished white gentleman myself, we did a lot of wars. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we have a warrior gene. Nobody's more or less aggressive than each other. Um, <clears throat> except for Italians, when you put too much sugar in the sauce, then you get aggressive. But I understand it. Um, <laughs> so, okay, let's continue. I like that. This video that we, we got these niggas running like it's an employment line. What the f- What? Don't do that. I will find you. you I like how Sneeko's pretending to be like, oh my god, this is so- This is crazy, but like, you're facilitating this. Fucking stinky looking piece of shit. You go fucking back right here. I don't wow. like you already. I, I don't know how you guys did it. But you guys made a more hey, embarrassing response than H3H3. H3. By like a long mile. Never, Bro, ever. what I find incredible is that like, this is really- like. They don't even have to do too much reacting because they just keep incriminating themselves more and more. Why is this funny to them? I wonder what their audience thinks of this. Like, I can't imagine that they would like, like, I can't imagine Fresh and Fit's own audience were like, oh my God, this is so funny. This is crazy. This is wild. You're doing such a good job. Um, okay. Compare that Myron dude to them fucking Jews, you motherfucker. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why is that too much for you, Sneeko? You said that Hitler was a nice guy. Like, what? That's on the fucking nose for what you think is acceptable. Is this a character? Th this, this is, this is not I was representative. Born this way, you chick. Keep going, chick. No, I don't think they do. So it is representative of you, Sneeko, because you're letting it happen. You're not holding your friend accountable, right? So you're, you're, you're. Uh, 
co-signing all this. <clears throat> you damn right there, high value man. They say more lives than your monkey asses have. What the fuck you niggas doing? Y'all sitting there in that tight ass room. I'm sitting next to a fucking monkey with dreads for a decade. You niggas. So do now, but see, ooh, you. Same shitty fucking camera for a damn decade. Same shitty road mic right there that looks like a penis forever. You guys have not proved nothing, and you fucking niggas, millionaires, not invest back in the business, get called out by a fucking racist KKK member at Tennessee. You motherfuckers are losers. I'm roasting y'all right now. Continue on, Chang. Yes. Okay. Many that nigga. Like he got a 39 IQ. Holy shit. I don't know how this You know, not for nothing. I'm like, I, I don't care. But like, I'm pretty sure it's within YouTube's guidelines to ban somebody for behavior that they enact off of the platform. Um, <clears throat> and I'm not saying he should be banned, but like, this is insane. Like, this is... um. I mean, this is wild. I'm pretty sure that something like this, like you, your representation off of this platform uh, can have a negative impact on you there. And like, he, uh, he should get something, to be absolutely honest with you. I mean, this is insane. This isn't appropriate. This isn't acceptable. This isn't funny. This isn't interesting. This is childish behavior. Like, this is stupid. This is like low IQ loser shit. He should get some kind of a strike for this. Like... He should get something for it. Like it's it, you know, considering how you know, I made I made a silly joke, in a, in a well, I made it a, a short YouTube short, but I made like a silly joke where um you know some woman like falsely accused these other people of of trying to kidnap their kids, and I was like, well, you know, I made I alluded to their kids maybe not necessarily uh, being desired <laughs> to kidnap, and I get I get a I get a ban for, I get a ban for that I get a copyright strike or whatever copyright I get a hit for that. This guy's going on screaming the n word to people. He should be held accountable on his platform. This should be a hit for him. Um, so, like, why the expectations on everybody else are massively high? You know, like I, they, I did a reaction to a video from Blair White where I don't think she was being transphobic, but like she had a t like they hit me with transphobia because of something she said in her video. I didn't, it wasn't me. I was disagreeing with her. So like for, for hate speech, but this guy's screaming the N word. This, why is this a, it doesn't matter if it's on a different platform. This shouldn't be acceptable. Why is it that some like every other creator is held to such massively high standards except for Fresh and Fit, who routinely just berate the fuck out of women and use slurs constantly? But in this case, he's just like, what is this? Like, this is crazy. This is this is insane. Like, YouTube should do something about it. They should give him a weak ban. They should like give him a little give him a little spank on the tushy. You're gonna hold everyone else to higher fucking standards than people with millions of followers and, and views per video. It's like Jesus Christ. Like, they should do something about it. It's unfair to the rest of the creators who, like, have to be, like, super police on every little thing that they say and do. For somebody to be... It doesn't matter if it's on a different platform. This is fucking wild. It's frustrating. It's frustrating to get, like, a weak ban over some, like, slightly edgy comment. And then to watch somebody, like, scream the N-word at people. Um... This guy preaches, take it seriously. Like, this nigga is fucking stupid. Say Albanian nigga yesterday said something about, shut the fuck up, you fucking <laughs> You stupid nigga not showing the women that y'all are with not one time. Last time I checked that Myron nigga got like three or four girlfriends. Okay? Oh yeah, look, they changed their, uh, they changed everything to be racist, more racist. Look at, they, they, they use their profile to reflect this as well. They've got, um, they're calling, like, you can obviously see, you can obviously see, that they changed their profile picture to preach being compared to Donkey Kong. That's so funny, guys. I'm fucking literally shitting and farting all over myself. They have fresh and fit clips, I guess, is comparing ABBA to... Would it be fair to say that Instagram... The lemur from whatever, from... Uh, I, I guess that's racist. I mean, I can't, I can't imagine the, any other intention. They have their fed reacts. I don't know if this is new, but it looks like it's just... Um, it's, it looks... I mean... I don't know if this one is, is linked to it, but what's happening here? This is fucking wild. This is incredible stuff. This is fucking ridiculous. Hey, 
and they're friends with each other. Or they would hurt our fan base. But if you're secure in who you are, now your family has a bunch of low IQ feminist f that can't take it when you get fit. What does he do? He actually gets fresh and most importantly, fit. That fresh fit is helping everybody get in a goddamn shape. This guy is totally unhinged. What do you mean? Oh, what do you mean I'm unhinged? You can't call me the N word. Watch. You are unhinged. Okay, yeah, we do like 10 sets of burn, uh, cross burnings. And, and here's the thing, I'm gonna continue to roast them. They're gonna sit there and say, I'm right. okay, let's fucking go. 10 toes down, I will roast you motherfuckers until the end. You fucking homos got nothing else. Yeah, I think I caught a little. That was a little hardcore. This is a little hardcore even for me. I'm glad you didn't- Oh, look, just pearly things is confirmed racist. Inserting yourself with other people. What else? Well, I mean, look, what? I mean, at this point, literally, we have one, two, three, four, five actual racists here. Calling each other slurs. I mean, Nick, Nick thinks black people are just genetically inferior. These the three on the bottom are uh, pushing, like, like fucking, like, you get Zerka talking about fucking the warrior gene of black people. I mean, Sneeko's co-signing everything that Myron just did. This is insane. And Pearl's just there to smile and look ugly. Like, I just fucking wild. You didn't show up in a, in a white hood, Nick. That would have <sighs> optics, you know? I was going to do the MAGA hat, but it just it wouldn't go as hard as the white hood, so... Nick, your followers are going to Myron now. You got competition. <laughs> That's true. Both of you guys. Both of you guys are... It's like I'm being outdone. I thought I went pretty hard in November. You got, you and got it's Myron like, leading the dissident right now. Uh, yeah, it's a couple of... It's an Albanian and a black guy. <laughs> gonna out yeah. Those are show how things have changed, because I remember when Dave Chappelle did the Clayton Bisbee, Bigsby shit back in the day. It was fucking hilarious, but nowadays you do that shit. They're like, oh my god. Just go... This is just a totally different situation. Dave Chappelle doing Clayton Higsby is more of like a silly scenario where he himself uh, acts like a black racist towards black people and he's blind. So the funny, that's where the humor is. It's not attacking black people in any capacity. Uh, it's, it's, it literally, there is no, you, no one can watch that and, and go, oh, this justifies any form of racism. You're literally uh, constantly just throwing slurs at black people and comparing them to monkeys. This is fucking crazy. Uh, it's not the same. The fact that you think that is on par with your mental capacity because you're a fucking moron. But Jesus. Goes to show how pussified we become. I, looking at that Donkey Kong photo, I can conclude that he's also a monkey. Okay. <laughs> All right. Like, bro, I, okay. I, like, I'm ready to end them. Like, they want to go here and say, you're a rapist, Myron. Cool. Cool. The fucking Arab guy. You probably are a rapist, right? Like, you tell women that were sexually assaulted that they should have picked better men. Um, and so then you are in some girl's DMs uh, saying that she'll, she can only come on the show if she'll fuck you. I mean, you're a disgusting piece of shit loser. Like, you're not a man. You're a boy. You're a child. You're not even a person. I, I, wouldn't, dig, I wouldn't insult boys by comparing them to you. You're a little bitch. This is childish behavior. And, like, you're embarrassing yourself. And it's funny that you think that this is some kind of, like, a massive own. But okay. That's also black. <laughs> that literally, like, I hit so many different check marks for the KKK. Y'all want to call me? Cool, you fucking. If you're wondering who the white dude in the top left is, that's a white supremacist. Nick Fuentes, who's the leader of a far right movement. And uh, just pearly things. I will say, uh, just pearly things, it. orange does look good on you. I'm glad you took Britney's advice. Well, you know what they say orange is the new black. And I guess she thinks that she's black or something. I don't know. That's the joke. That's, the, that's I, had a th I had a quarter of a second to think about that. I do think it's funny that the only time you decide to groom yourself is for a clan meeting. But hey, if that's the kind of high value man you want to attract, go girlfriend. Now, let's fucking uh, do it. Hey, guys, when we speak, everyone. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. No, no, no. Raise your hand. No, 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 no. So we take turns. No, 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 Nick, no, 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 what the fuck? Are you I heard that some of y'all were raising this. You know, do you think that Ethan is going to talk about this situation? Or do you think he's going to stay away from it since it's Abin Preach and Fresh and Fit going at each other? Even though this is right up his alley for content that he would normally talk about when it comes to Myron. I really, I truly wonder. Salute, so I decided to come back. Let's go. <laughs> of course, Nico. For all rolls out. Oh, come on. No! We're done. Let's no, no, no. go. No. If he doesn't talk about it, no. I'm... If he doesn't talk about it, mm, I'm thinking that maybe ah, there's no way you don't talk about this. This is, <laughs> this is insane. Uh, there's no way he doesn't talk about this. Um, or else, I think if anything, that just shows to me that he's a little penis head. I don't know. Okay, let's go. We're down let's for do whatever. It. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, do you realize how dumb everyone has to be that when you're in a room full of people that somehow just pearly thing seems to be the smartest person you see her sliding off screen like what the fuck am i associating myself with 
She should have just left the conversation, but she's a loser. You don't so. know how dumb you have to be to make Pearl sound smart. Yeah, I mean, hey, listen, if you want to throw away your YouTube channel in the dumbest way possible, cool. You just cost yourself and your staff millions of dollars over one of the dumbest things I've ever seen possible. And also just notice, all of this rolls off Myra's tongue so easily. This is not the first time he's talked about this, about black people like this. It's not surprising to me. I'm honestly, when he started speaking about black women in the past, I'd always suspected he had negative emotions or feelings about black people. What about the black dating app called Black? <laughs> oh, I, it's funny, I never used that one, bro, but oh, hey, man. <laughs> I mean, hey, bro, if you want to date a bunch of Shaniquas, go for it, man. LaQuisha. Uh, yeah, like, uh, I, me and Fresh aren't really down with the- This is like, listen, I've heard black women say uh, somewhat, like, every so often that there's an issue with like black men being disrespectful to black women in a way that they feel is different from uh, very very disproportionate you know and like it's guys like these these are like these are the people there's not guys it's just fucking losers that like say this shit that like do this shit that just like berate people like they're disgusting human beings bro i mean i don't know man it's fucking wild this is crazy like there's no baseline level of respect with these with these individuals they're fucking losers. It's crazy. It's really crazy because I still, every once in a while, I get a comment that's like, no, Fresh and Fit help people. No, they don't. Saying that you should go to the gym, that's nice that that's motivating to you, but this is the self-destructive loser mentality. They have no emotional regulation or control. They're routinely disrespecting women. They're uh, rape apologists that blame women for getting sexually assaulted. They're not helpful. Going to the gym, but then also talking about how women are less than, which is what they do, that's not worth anything. That's like if Hitler liked to plant flowers, and you're like, he's a, re he's a really good guy because he liked fucking flowers. It's like, wow, like that's what you're saying here. Um, I understand they're not Hitler, but like they're insanely shit. That's what's happening here. So, brown nah, like that, man. we ain't night riders. Nah, so bro, I'm good. Uh, you know, sometimes if they're you know red bone, but like in general, me and Fresh uh, don't dabble in the dark. If you know what I'm saying. Yep. Uh, okay. And this is just reinforcing. Okay. It's just like that's one of the things. Like it's okay to have a preference, but for you to not want to date black women because you think that they're a bunch of quote unquote Shaniquas, like that's I mean, it's got to some be some form of prejudice. I know they're black, but that's got to be some form of racist. There's like there's preferences, and then there's there's actually oh I don't. It sounds like they just don't like black women as people. They don't think that they're people, so they don't want to date them. That's different from being like I have a preference. That's different, you know. I'm not even upset. Hey, ladies, I don't have a preference. If you know what I'm saying, I do. It's my wife. That's the only person I ever see. Actually, when there's women on the screen, I can't even see them. It's actually fucking insane. It's wild. Oh, yeah. At first, it starts with making, you know, talking shit about black women specifically and constantly putting them down. And, you know, sometimes there's valid criticisms about black culture. Is there a reason why Preach isn't there? It looks like this specifically was a very quick, like, let me get this out there because this needs to be seen kind of a thing. Because they have a video <coughs> from three hours ago with both of them in there, which seems to not be doing well specifically because they posted this other video. And then they posted this an hour later. It seemed like Abba was like, I got to get on this. Because, uh, yeah, bro, Abba was alluding to it. They need to get some kind of a punishment for that. Like, this is insane. Like, not, I don't, like, it's not even from the perspective of, like, those words are terrible. It's from the perspective of, like, everyone's held to a higher fucking standard i got me with like my this channel has like what, 25,000 followers and i'm getting hit with a, a fucking ban for transphobia because i react to a blair white video and they're sitting here fucking screaming the n-word it doesn't matter if it's on the same platform it doesn't matter if it's on a different platform like that's a representation of youtube and the brand of youtube like they should do something about that it's crazy that we're held to like fucking 10 times higher standards and fresh and fit it's insane it's it's and that and that's what's being presented here is that like you know it's like fucking rules for for me and not for thee right it's frustrating. It's frustrating to, like, you know, get hit with that shit. It's frustrating when I try to make a video that's, like, thoughtful, and I get hit with a fucking ban for it. It's like, okay, like, shit. I, I, me, like, but they're actively being racist. It's not like they're just, like, they maybe misspoke. Like, I didn't say anything that was supposed to be invalidating of trans people, and I got hit. Okay. I think it was the title, because Blair named it, like, social media is making people trans or giving them mental disorders or something. It was, like, a wild title. And I made the title the same thing, but, like, plus Papa Guy Reacts, right? And they punished me for that. Um, and I, I'm not, like, sitting here trying to say, like, Blair should get banned or anything. That's not the point that I'm making. Uh, frankly, they should just, un they should take the strike away from me, you fucking smelly little dingle, dingle toads. Um... How TikTok is convincing teens they're trans and mentally ill. Like, I think that it was the title, and I made mine to that plus Papa Guy my point is, is if I get banned for that, how the fuck is this acceptable on the platform? It doesn't matter if it's on the platform. How is this acceptable for a very large representation of you that has like, what, 2 million followers on YouTube? How is it, how is it acceptable for this to be happening? 1.4 million followers. Like, where's the, where's the fucking, where's the anything?
Where's the where's the what's going on here? It's frustrating. I'm not saying a flat out ban, but like give them a week off. Tell them that that's un inappropriate. It's not acceptable. It's fucking wild. For that, I'll entertain. But then the frequency and the vitriol that comes out when they speak. Plus, yeah, you don't even have to compare it to that video. Like, look, like you don't even have to compare it to the video. They 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 made their profile picture. This is intention intended to be racist. You don't even have to like care about that video, YouTube. This is inappropriate. This should get a ban. Hey, give him a vacation. This should this should be this should be unacceptable. This is racist. Like what the fuck? This is wild, bro. About it, you start to feel like there's something else going on underneath it all. And then when it comes to people like mine, even though you can never point to it directly, because it's rare that it's this overt. So you can't really point it out, right? Everyone tells you, no, it's not there, it's not there. Even though you have a feeling, you know what I'm saying? You have no, but now you have it in full in front of you. This guy is considered the leader of the red pill. And you're seeing how this disseminates to a lot of his followers. That kind of hatred that he has for black people is instilled in a lot of the things that he actually preaches. You can't yeah, tell because true. it's not overt, but it's in the undertones if you understand what's really going on. No, he's right. It's like somebody, he's right. And it's actually, it's a, it's a conversation about like, if you're somebody who says to a woman that it's their fault for being sexually assaulted, and that they should chose better. Or if you're somebody who says that like, oh, why didn't you just close your mouth when somebody's getting sexually assaulted in, in the mouth or something. That overarching mentality that you have will be passed on to your children. It's not going to be explicit everyday things. It's going to be these little moments that are going to happen over a period of time. And Myron and the Fresh and Fit, they have an audience of people who consume their content like five, ten hours a week. And that's slowly being passed on to them. It's these small little moments. This is what's happening. So <clears throat> that's when I saw the previous one, even though a lot of people said, no, it's not. It's not racist. It's not. It's not. It's like, do you really think that? I know it is. I know what he means when yeah. he says the warrior gene. I know what he means when he yeah. says monkey. I know why he's using yeah. it specifically. I don't know. How, how would you have to argue with somebody that's racist? All you have to do is look these things up. The warrior gene. Uh, a okay has earned the nickname warrior gene because it's been linked to aggression and observation and survey based studies. They are trying to say that black people have a warrior gene that makes them violent. That's what they're trying to say in that last video. Like that's racist. Calling a black person monkey is like literally like fucking you know the first thing you learn in racism one hundred and one. Okay, um, I never took that class. This is fucking wild. People, the fact that people need to be convinced of that, you're just an idiot. Like at that point, like you really, you really like it's a, it's you're embarrassing yourself. That's like not being able to count to one. Like that's really embarrassing for a black individual. But plausible deniability gives everyone the ability to be like, no, that's not what he meant. That's not what he meant. But with this stream, you just see everything that I believed and pretty much knew is confirmed. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you want to shoot your credibility, if you want to destroy your movement, if you want to make the red pill look like a movement for losers, it is. Uh, that yeah, they already have. And also hate minorities and value whiteness for some reason. You know, it's in your dating preferences, it's in your language, it's in the way that you insult people. That's okay. Have your movement. But when people discredit it and laugh at it, you're going to be one of the principal reasons why with your behavior. Instead of holding frame, instead of being stoic the way you present in the red pill and handling your stuff well, you get poked and prodded, and all of a sudden you unleash this. Yeah, the reason he's why a sensitive little baby that can't uh, monitor his emotions. Came out because deep down inside, that's the shit that you feel. That's the stuff that you really believe. That's how you really feel about black people. And now everyone else knows. Um, so, you know, if you're proud of this, congratulations, brother. You played yourself. I don't think there's much to be said. I wouldn't be surprised if the YouTube channel gets deleted. As far as them talking about hanging us or monkeys this or whatever it is, cool. Okay, yeah, I mean, I agree. They should, they should get some kind of a punishment for that.